Hello everyone, how have you been? Welcome to Annie Apavel. Thank you all for staying with me. If you are new to my channel, please kindly subscribe, like and hit the share button. So today we are going to be cutting a short color jacket, a short color jacket. So the short color jacket, you can see that I added extra paper at the up because my paper was not enough for the pattern my paper was not enough so after i had it in i took in my length my length is 27 inches so I'm trying to rule make it a straight line so that's 27 inches from that 27 inches from that 27 inches i took in my shoulder my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches, shoulder to under bust 13 and a half, shoulder to waist 16 inches, and my shoulder to my length is 27 inches plus 1 inch of allowance 28 inches. From that midpoint, 5 inches forward, that is from the center front, then 5 inches upward from that mark shoulder line. So I made it a straight line. So after making a straight line, and adding your five inches at the center for now five inches at the upper edge so the next thing you do is you take your nipple to nipple measurement now my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches divided by two that is 3.5 plus 0 0.5 inches which is four inches so i'm marking four inches now the four inches started from the chest line which is that 10 inches from my chest line down to the length of my jacket. So I'm making that a straight line now. After doing that, you're taking your shoulder measurement. Now my shoulder measurement is 15 inches divided by two and seven and a half. From that seven and a half, you mark your arm on length, which is which my was 8.5 inches and I'm making that a straight line. So after taking your armhole measurement, you're taking your neckline. So the standard neckline is three inches by three inches. That is the standard neckline, three inches by three inches. It does not exceed that. Then you make it a curve. So after that, you're taking your shoulder loop, which is one inch, and connect to your neckline. And after connecting to your neckline, I find my midpoint. I was having seven and a half inches after removing one inch. I was at, so seven and a half inches divided by two, that is 3.75. Then from that 3.75, I look for the, I went in by half inch, then I connect. So went in by half inch, then connect. So the next thing you need to do is you start taking your dads. So from that 27 inches, I went in by 2 inches upward. 2 inches upward. Then from my waist, went in 1 inch on both sides. On the bus, I went in 1 inch on both sides. Then I connect. So after connecting the dot from your chest line you go in by one inch go in by one inch then you connect those lines together so after going in by one inch you look for the midpoint you measure your shoulder your shoulder mine was remaining 4.5 then i look for the midpoint of it then you mark then you connect down to the shoulder. So that is all for the shoulder that. So you need to start taking your body circumference. My boss is 34 inches divided by 4, which is 8.5 inches. Plus 1.5 inches allowance, that is 10 inches. So you mark 10 inches. My waist is 26 inches divided by 4, that is 
6.5 and 6.5 plus the 1 inch on both sides that is 8.5 plus 1.5 inch that is 10 inches now the EP is 36 inches divided by 4 plus 1.5 that is 10.5 then connect all lines together so after you start con after you've connected your lines together now we now need to start drafting our neckline now you need to look, know where your break point would be decide where your break point would be so i decided my break point would be at my waist line i wanted my break point to be at my waistline so from that my waistline i measured one inch outward now that one inch outward is for the button so one inch outward from the is for the button then i connect the line together now you can decide your ways your break point to be at your underboss at your chest line it all depends on you so from that one from that one inch you connect it straight down to your neck line from where your neckline start from so you connect it straight down to your neckline you can see it's always a slant line you make sure you are doing that correctly you slant it so now after slanting it from that your break point what you need to do is you need to go upward by three and a half inches three and a half inches so you connect the line now it's not a straight line it's a 90 degree line it's a 19 degree line it is not a straight line so mark your three and a half inches from that break point of your neck then you go inward by half inch you go inward by half inch remember your neck is not a straight line you go in one by half inch you can see it's no longer a straight line it's a slant line so after that you decide how wide you want your neckline to be now those part depend on your preference you can decide to make it any inches of your choice but i made my four inches i made my four inch you can also reduce but the standard is four inches so i made my four inches then i slant now it is not a straight line it is not a straight line you need to slant your hand because our back neck it's not straight you need to slant your hand you can see i slant my hand by 90 degree so after that you can now decide the shape of your collar you can decide the shape of your collar like i said earlier it all depends on your preference it all depends on your preference but what i did was i measured four inches four inches from that slant line so since it was four inches at the waist at the upper head i had to measure four inches then i used my free hand to do it now if you have a pattern master you can use your pattern master but i used my free hand i was just using the pattern master to get the curve this is my pattern master to get the curve then i decide to use my free hand now you can use your free hand it all depends on you if you don't have a pattern master you can use your free hand you can see i later went ahead using my free hand to draft the color to my desired shape now this part also depends on you. you can decide to shape it any how you want it anyhow you want it shape it anyhow you want it it's your preference it's all depend on you so after doing that you all you need to do now this is that is all for the short color jacket you can see it's not add it is not add it is not add that is just all for the short color jacket so after doing that you can now decide to add your allowance add your allowance all through add your half inch allowance all through So I'm adding on to add my allowance on you. Now you can add your allowance from the pattern or you can add your allowance when you 
have cut your pattern you can add your allowance straight from your fabric so at this part while cutting it you need to take your time please do not wash do not wash your pattern take your time and do this take your time and do this So now it's now time to draft the back pattern. So the back pattern does not require extra length. So you just measure your 27 inches. As you length, then you added your one inch of allowance. So you're taking your horizontal measurement, shoulder to balls 10 inches, shoulder to under balls 13 and a half, shoulder to waist 16 inches, then shoulder to your length, which is 27 inches plus one inch of allowance, 28 inches. Then you rule them in a straight line. So after ruling them in a straight line, then you need to take your shoulder measurements. Your shoulder measurement is seven and a half inches, armhole eight and half inches then also make that into a straight line so this is basically your basic bodies pattern this is how to draft your basic bodies pattern for those that don't know how to draft it so this is just how it's being drafted so after doing that you also need to take your nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches that is seven inches divided by two 3.5 plus 0 0.5 is four inches now you mark that from your chest line so after marking that from your chest line you're taking your neckline three inches by one inch now this is not three inches by three and a half this is not three inches by three inches this is three inches by one inch then you curve that slightly three inches by one inch then curve that slightly that is for the back neckline So I'm trying to get if I have three inches. So, you know, remember from the shoulder, I measured three. From the front, I measured three and a half upward. So, you are supposed to draft the back before drafting the front. So I'm making sure I'm having three and a half, two from the back. Then after doing, making sure you are having that, you're taking your shoulder slope of one inch then you curve your arm O. Then curve your arm hole. So, after curving your arm hole, also take your dart. That is two inches upward from the M line, one inch on both sides from the way for the waistline, one inch on both sides for the underboss, half one inch downward 
from the chest line then it connects all lines together so after connecting all lines together the next thing you need to do is to find the m um, the midpoint of your shoulder that is four and a half divided by two that is 2.2 so then connect that line to your shoulder so after connecting the line just start taking your body circumference bust 34 inches divided by 2 divided by 4 that is 8.5 plus 1.5 inch 10 inches waist 26 inches divided by 4 6.4 6.5 plus 1 inch on both sides for the darts that is 8.5 plus 1.5 inch allowance that is 10 inches so after that your hip your hip measurement which is 36 inches divided by 4 9 inches plus 1.5 that is 10.5 inch allowance so after doing that then you cut your pattern you can see it's just a basic bodice pattern there's nothing really hard about it so that's all for the back pattern there's party downtown someone said that you're coming by I regret what I said, didn't mean it Yeah, believe me, I guess I'll take it back There's a party downtown, someone said that you're coming by I know that summer was a big mistake I just hope that we're still okay you always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds So don't forget to label your pattern Label is very very important label your pattern so at this point after I finish draft cutting out your pattern you need to cut two pieces for the front two pieces for the side of the front and also two pieces for the back now if you are using your lining also do the same thing two pieces two pieces so you're having four pieces in total of each fabric So, this is the front, this is the front two piece, and this is the back two piece. So, from shoulder to chest line is 10 inches, shoulder to under boss, 10 and a half, 
16, 27, then one inch allowance. So the next thing to do is, from here, measure five inches outward, five inches outward. Then three inches by three inches, the normal neckline. After that, this is the shoulder, seven and a half inches, seven and a half inches, three inches by three inches. Went up by three and a half inches. Go in, go in by half inches slant. You can see this is not straight, this is not a straight line. This is a straight line here, but this is not a straight line. Then after that, three and four inches. Now this one can depend on your preference. This one depends on your preference. So this is not also a straight line. It slants. This is not fully straight line. This is slant like a 90 degree. Then you can try to measure four inches, four inches, four inches. Then you no. Know, curve it to your preference. Curve it to your preference. Now this is where my break point is at my waist area. So you can see from this waist area, slant it down. Then I curve this. And I had a, I gave one inch allowance for button. One inch for button. So this is how it is. Now this is my front. This is from here to here. Is where my nipple to nipple point is. I took in one inch by the waist area, one inch by the under bust, went down by half inch, then connect all line. At the upper part, down part, went up by two inch. You can see two inch, then connect all lines, then cut out the dots. So this is the back two. Do the same thing, the neckline three inches by one. So you can decide to slant in your front, you know, give it that nice curvy look. But I try to make my straight for now. Okay, this is how to cut the lapel. A short color jacket. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool, but when you're near, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in.